Hi there, uh, I'm still here. Uh, we're gonna do the uh, second part. I've done the first part in under 14 minutes, which is great. And I'm just gonna uh, uh, show you a couple of things that will make your workflow a little bit more convenient. Um, uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, copy this loft because I wanna make it into a poly mesh and uh, put a texture on it and uh, fill these holes etc and I can't do it when it's uh, a NURBS surface object um, and I want to actually not get rid of this so uh, what I'm going to do is put this first loft and I'm just going to call it body and I'm just going to put it into a layer uh, then subsequently uh, make that layer invisible now you click on this add to a new layer and it's gonna have this vague orange color doesn't matter and right here at the way at the right uh, I'm gonna go to layers and I'm gonna flick off visibility so it's not visible anymore what you're seeing right now is actually the copy the loft one. Now let's call this um, dino body and make it editable. Just press the C and it's editable. So now it's a mesh. It's exactly what you're seeing here. And we're gonna fill the holes. But what's so lovely about this is that if I make a mistake, then I still have the body here and I can go back and actually edit whatever I want to do to it. Now, let's see. Um, first of all, let's fill this, this hole at the front because that's bothering me. Um, let's count the number of polygons. Uh, this would be a triangle. That would be, that would be, once in a while, you have to make a triangle. As long as your topology, that means the flow of your um, polygons is okay, then it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm just going to go zoom into this hole here and let's see how we're going to fix this. Uh, I'm going to go into edge mode and I hit the B for bridge. And let's see if we can make fix this so that it looks okay. Um, let's see. Um, I'll bridge this one to that. And bridge that one to that. Hang on. You have to be real careful how you do this. So I'm going to bridge this so that I get all quads. Basically, this is all quads. But then I, I want to have the seam in the middle. So uh, what am I going to do to that? Because this is all quads. And hmm. all right, let's just cut it. So I do K. And then you can tell that you have three options, plain cut, uh, line cut, or loop cut. Uh, let's just hit the K and first go to uh, the uh, polygon mode and just select these. I'm selecting straight through. Look, see? So that's what I should notice. and think of uh, I'll just do it again and um, let's cut it right there so turn it I see that my UVs are not completely uniform that's also okay um, let's hit the KK and now you have visible only that's all right um, restrict to selection. I'll select that. 
and I'll just go from here to here. Now I'm going to make actually two triangles, one here and one over there. And I'm just going to hit enter and escape. And now I got this hole fixed. You can even uh, um, adjust CVs like uh, like this, make it a slightly more round like this to make the object actually smooth. Now these vertices are not going to give you that much trouble because you you got about five of them on the top side and the bottom. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Yep. Uh, no, I'm lying. You got about twelve, but you got about five vertices that are actually slightly off. Now, what I want to show you before we uh, continue with the legs and uh, the arms is when I create a new material and I'm just going to flick off the reflectance, go to the color map and actually pick up uh, this UV grit and I slap that on. Let's turn off the anti-aliasing and I'll just slap that onto my dinosaur. And then you can already tell there is a fair amount of stretching, but it actually looks okay. Oh, by the way, um, if you open this and go to the editor, uh, is it editor? Yeah. Uh, take your preview size and you put this up to, let's say, 1024 by 1024. It will actually get a little bit more clear and you don't get the blurry effect. But you see the stretching now. That is what I don't like. And obviously, with the new polygons that I made, the new polygons I made, uh, it actually puts the UVs from 0 to 1 on every single polygon. So we have to fix that. But that's only for these polygons at the front. Now, if we go to um, the BP UV Edit, first move this up a little bit, and let's go to BP UV Edit. You can tell that uh, obviously these diagonal lines are the polygons are uh, at the front, at the nose. These are the two triangles that I've made. I'm not worried about that. Um, I just don't want the stretching. So let's just um, select all the polygons that are in here. Uh, let's do it, Control A and then deselect because I don't want to be bothered with these polygons here right now deselect these this is just for an example damn it I should hold down the control key so let's do it like this right and this has a fair amount of stretching but the polygons sorry the UVs are nicely wrapped around the uh, dinosaur and actually have a seam at the bottom of the dinosaur around its belly. Now, um, the way to do this, redo this, because obviously it's not following the shape and the size of the polygon is not predicting the size of the, uh, of the UVs. Um, the way to do this is to go to the Relax UV. Now let's first go to the Materials, get rid of that cross, and then we'll go back to uh, the UVs again. And here we have Relax UV. Now you have two algorithms. It doesn't really matter. I don't know what these abbreviations mean. And you auto-realign. Um, it's fine by me. You don't have to realign it. 
and I'll just hit apply. Now what it does is like this beautiful thing stretching up the UVs for the polygons that are actually larger and scaling it down for the ones that are smaller. So uh, what I can do now, because it basically brought the UVs to this diagonal shape, is start rotating it. And I'll start rotating it over this point right in the center. And just about here, you can actually um, use the snaps. I've disabled them because the snapping is right here you can actually enable them but right now it's not really that important and then I can just resize it I'm resizing it Let's hang on because I should resize it over the center of the image so that the head and the tail come right into the UVs that's what I should get now you can tell that my numbers are not stretched. That's the main thing. It's uh, basically a mirror image, but this looks really good. Um, why is there such a thick white line? Oh, it's one of the grid lines being scaled up a little bit, but most of the stretching is gone. And I've already done that just one click of the mouse just apply on the relax UV now we're gonna put these UVs either to the left or the right and put the legs in and then we're gonna actually make a texture map that looks really good and uh, looks like uh, we're fitting it on a dinosaur on a t-rex this is gonna be super cool